In a city that's a hub for worldwide business, a vibrant city, a city that's sometimes mind-numbingly bent on getting to the next thing, it's important to remember there are always small corners of peace and quiet to be found. We spent a morning during our holiday visit exploring one of the nooks and crannies that make Golden Gate Park a must for any visit to the city by the bay. You know, looking at the background here, you might think I was in Kyoto, but I'm not. I'm right here in Golden Gate Park at the Japanese Tea Garden in San Francisco. This is a spot that, while not exactly a secret, is not on most top 10 lists for the city. But maybe it should be. It's absolutely gorgeous here. A maze of manicured paths and bridges, bonsai trees and pagodas, and a perfect place to chill out and reflect. There's a nice little gift shop to pick up some unconventional souvenirs. And of course, a tea house to hang out and relax. Ataiko Bashi, the drum bridge. A traditional style designed with three things in mind. To allow boats to pass easily beneath, to form a full circle when reflected on the water, and to slow people down. I can attest personally that they succeeded on that last one. Japanese master builder Shinshiki Nakatani was commissioned to build this bridge for the 1894 Midwinter Festival here in Golden Gate Park. And it's just a beautiful piece of San Francisco architecture. Get a little bit of a workout going up and down this thing. When the city ran out of funds to complete the bridge, Nakatani raised the money himself and presented it as a gift to the people of San Francisco. Both Shinto and Buddhist traditions are represented here, and this nearly 230-year-old bronze statue of the Buddha has been in place here since 1949, when this place was referred to as the Oriental Gardens. Freedom fries, anyone? You know, when I was a kid, we used to come down here to the Japanese Tea Garden early in the morning before it opened sometimes. The fog would be settling on the ground, and I remember even one time there was snow on the ground here. The good thing is you can still experience the Japanese Tea Garden for free a couple days a week. If you look at the schedule, it lets you know before 10 a.m. Even non-residents are allowed to come in here for free, and uh, it's well worth the trip out here to do it. Talk about a squirrel hitting the geography lottery. 